Hi, my name is Chayden, and you're watching the Donna Drake TV Show. Pure destiny, pure luck, you know, it just so happened that I was taking polo lessons about three years ago and um, the instructor was stabling right on this property and I had no idea it existed till, till I came here and vowed by it and so uh, I started taking lessons. Um, six months later I had my own team and I was playing and so at that point I needed stabling and so where was I going to stable in New York, Long Island and I figured I'd rent the stables here and I did. At that point the owners had the property listed for sale. I wasn't interested or looking at it but then while I was here stabling they just came up to me and said one day you should be the one to, to buy it and we made a deal. So lo and behold I'm here. <laughs> yeah so when I first started uh, my instructor said you know it's gonna take you about three years before you start playing a match and I said I, I don't subscribe to that plan I don't know what's gonna happen in three years I gotta start playing a game sooner that's what it's about so well you're gonna have to work really hard and we all did and I was able to play uh, my first match after five months or so of being on a horse uh, it wasn't the prettiest but <laughs> I was in it <laughs> yes and polo is sort of a handicap system it's based on the ratings that each player has Today, what you witnessed was a 10-goal match, right? That's uh, a mid-level polo game, right? They, they go up to 40 being the max, which is only played in Argentina. But, you know, 16, 20, 22-goal polo is very high goal polo. Uh, but 10 is pretty uh, mid-level high, and it's, uh, it's a fun uh, polo experience. So what you watched today was a pro pool. It's basically a sort of a pro-am. You've got two professional polo players and two amateurs uh, I'm one of them uh, playing the game and uh, we do that in two different days so you watch day two of the pro pool today um, I had Nick Aliano who's also a sponsor like me and then we had Jeff Hall and Brandon Phillips on our team um, what we did was there were four teams total um, and we played on Thursday and then carried the match over to today. It's, you know, it's a great exhibition match. It's friendly competitive and it's supposed to be entertainment for people that come and want to enjoy polo um, at Bethpage Polo Park, uh, which is part of our Meadowbrook Polo Club. This is our second year doing this, and therefore we're still learning. That being said, we've partnered with some really good people. Uh, I'm fortunate to have an amazing team around me that manages all of this. What brings it together is the hospitality. We're about having a good time on a nice Saturday afternoon leading into a little after party here. Life short, have fun. I don't want to uh, change the character, so it's a hard balance to make sure that you maintain the character of the property, the historical you know, ambiance, and yet make it modern living for today. So I'm being careful with how I'm handling it. Um, it's a work in progress, and we'll see how it turns out. I would love for people to, to come watch polo. Um, it's a great family experience. You know, it's not just a, uh, hey, I've got to do an adult thing only. You could do that too. 
And it's a fun experience for the kids. It's a fun experience for uh, the adults. This is a very historical club. It's been here for over 100 years. It was formed in 1881. We're just trying to be the torchbearers and continue this forward. So that's really it.